You did five, and the other night you did 126 with all the cheer mates. Oh, okay, okay. So you were at 20, 96 because of the 26. Makes sense, love. Makes sense. But yeah, okay. So tonight on the PS2 Gauntlet, what are we? We're playing some Xeno Saga. <laughs> I don't know a whole lot about this game. I say that all the time. Uh, I know that it's a RPG game. Uh, it has a bit of a cult following, I'm pretty sure. Um. I know that this game is not too bad, Xenosaga 1, but the later games in the series get a little bit expensive, I know that. Uh, it has mechs and robots and stuff in it, it looks like, so that should be fun. <laughs> this this is about all I know. That's about that's about it. Oh, hey, you still got your, uh, your special dude with glasses, Noodle, I see that, that's cool. So is that forever, or is it only 24 hours then? Because uh, I remember there was a little bit of a debate on how that worked. The night that uh, we discovered that was a thing. So, oh, you made him again. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm glad you like my little dude with uh, with glasses on. It is it is very cute. I will say that. I mean, it's very cute in general. And then you just put glasses on it. It makes it that much better, right? All right. Let me get my audio going here because I... Okay, maybe there is no game audio right now. Maybe that's why I can't hear it. That would make sense too, I suppose. I feel like there should be audio right now, though. You know what I mean? Like, it feels like there should be audio going on, but there's not. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Once we move the cursor, there's some audio. So it's just a, a completely quiet opening. Odd, but... <laughs> and Nate found the squished one. Very nice, guys. Very nice. I'm glad you found something else to spend your points on, at least. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, start up a new game, figure out what this game's all about. Apparently this game was made back in 2001, so very early in the, the PS2 life cycle. I got the book here, but uh, because I never prepare for these things, I didn't read through it to see <laughs> anything about the game, really. So you can continue to use it? What do you mean, like if you memorize the the, the, the typing in for it or something like that, or... Or do you have to pay every 24 hours to use it with, uh, with the channel points? I think that's a... Is it supposed to be uppercase or lowercase, though? Oh, okay, yeah, no, I guess it's, a uh, unique to the person. Dr. Masuda! What is it? Did you find something? Yeah. We followed the corridor from the lakeside. It matches the location described in the that research must be paper. It. Good. Show us where it is. You know what? For this being a 2001 PS2 game, this is pretty good. Like, <laughs> I can think of plenty of PS2 games that came out after this that had FMVs looking a lot worse than this. You can use them for 24 hours. The other two you just it's didn't work. There. Okay. Okay. That's neat, though. I'm glad it's a thing. Like, that's pretty cool. I had no idea that was a feature until uh, a couple days ago, whenever one of those streams. <laughs> so they, they discovered something here. I don't know what. <laughs> I, I know this takes place in the future. The actual game does. I don't know if this specific moment does, but I think the game takes place like a thousand years in the future or something ridiculous like that. Thousands of years into the future, mankind has abandoned Earth and exists only in deep space. Having used their advanced technology to unlock the secrets of the universe, humanity hopes to do the same with the Zohar, a powerful and mysterious artifact reputedly existing since the dawn of time. But a hostile alien life form... The Gnosis brutally attack at every turn. Why? Unbeknownst to mankind, the race to unlock the final mystery and to embrace an uncertain destiny has begun. Okay, so <laughs> that's a that's a thing, I guess. <laughs> that's kind of that's the blurb that it gives you in the beginning of the the instruction manual there. Sweet, are we on a different planet, or is this the destruction of Earth? that we're witnessing right now. I kind of like the black and white one. 
And the black and white one's probably my actual favorite. I think it's pretty neat. Alright, come on, cutscene. Hey, what's up, Canes? Thank you for the 100 bits. I do appreciate it, man. No cursing, Mr. Noodle says. Okay, I can try that. I think I can handle that for the next uh, however long. <laughs> no cursing this minute. I'm sorry, was I cursing 10 minutes? Is that how long? Okay, okay. It's 12 after. I think we can. I think we can handle that. I'm still very confused about what the heck is going on. I almost, I almost cursed right there already. Already it hasn't even been a minute. <laughs> I was close. I'm not sure what the heck is going on. I'm assuming this is the destruction of Earth. And not the the future thing, but I'm I'm a bit confused though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you like the no cursing one? Seems fun. I mean, I feel like I generally don't curse that much in stream though. You know, like it definitely happens, but I try not to be too bad about it. Monolith software. Okay, so this is 4,000 years in the future now. So that must have been like the beginning of the end for Earth or, or whatever. Cosmos. Oh, so futuristic. I don't know, they're 4,000 years in the future. It looks like most people's couple hundred years in the future. As far as, like, sci-fi goes. Are these, like, sleep pods? Or are we gonna pilot these things or something like that? Future. It needs, like, some rainbows when you say that. Just future. <laughs> some rainbows and some sparkles. Heart rate, thermography, blood pressure, MRI, EEG, and something else that I missed. Oh, you did IR world ban. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> See, I didn't look over at the uh, at the requests. I just read the chat and saw you said that F word. Not like the bad F word, but the F word that you put in chat to not say. <laughs> so I said it like three times. Two times? I mean, hey, it's starting now that I know what it is. Can't blame me for, for, you know, <laughs> for saying it before I knew what it was referring to. That word just randomly popped up on the screen, so of course I was going to say it. So I, I already forget when we're allowed to curse again. I think it started at 13. So it's been, what, two minutes? Maybe three minutes? <laughs> oh my goodness, though. Why wow, this cutscene's slowly playing out. You know what I am so happy about? 12? Oh, that's when it started was 12. Okay. I found at one of the local grocery stores that we sell ramen noodles. And I don't mean, like, pre-packaged ramen with, with the flavoring packet and all that stuff. Because I don't eat that stuff anymore. A mixture of it being produced in the same facility as different shellfishes and things like that but also extremely high in salt. So I try not to eat it too much anyways, or tried not to too much anyways before the whole shellfish thing. But we got like just the ramen noodles, just the noodles on their own. So I can make up my own broth and put in like all the, the meats and the veggies and all that stuff. And it is absolutely freaking delicious, man. Had it for dinner last night and lunch today. Chicken, chicken today, prepared mostly by noodle with some leftovers from yesterday. And then uh, beef last night. Oh boy, fantastic! Let me tell you, I I really like soups in general, and ramen is just like a plus as far as soup goes. You know, 
It's like a solid nine and a half out of ten. I can't honestly think of a soup that I like better. Roger. Launching Nataraja connection system. I'm paying a little bit of attention to the uh, to the whole cutscene thing that's going on here. The first thing I want to say about it is I'm very happy that they have subtitles on this because like a lot of uh, PS2 games do not have subtitles on their cutscenes or just in general. So the fact that they do is very nice. <laughs> You've just been adding crushed up Doritos and Frank's Red Hot to everything and loving it. I mean, Frank's Red Hot is my number one favorite hot sauce by far. I have literally drank that stuff before. Um, not like a whole bottle or anything ridiculous, but you know, just take, take a little sip of it every now and then. <laughs> it's weird, but I, I absolutely love that stuff. And some of my favorite uh, wings, fried wings, are just, just dump hot sauce on them, man. Frank's Red Hot hot sauce specifically. That's all you gotta do. You just gotta fry them up nice and crispy, coat them in some Frank's Red Hot when they're still piping hot just out of the fryer delicious wonderful now i do prefer it like as a buffalo style sauce with a little bit of, of butter and some extra vinegar and seasoning and stuff down in it but sometimes sometimes you gotta have just the hot sauce man it's amazing and whenever we do like tacos and stuff some crushed up doritos with tacos oh heck yes heck yes man ah, i see a small break in the mt field route k12 it looks like the bi-directional link in the V4 field is lag too. Oh yeah, Noodle likes Takis on it. I'm not a huge fan of all the lime on Takis though. It's not my favorite flavor. I'm just not a huge lime person. I will eat lime, but it's like... Looks good. Eh. It's just meh. Alright, so we have some sort of virtual link. I'm assuming to a robot. Uh, we're, we're the lady in the chair, right? And we have a virtual link to this robot. And that's what we're going to control. Or, wait, do we just astral project? I'm confused. <laughs> Cosmos? Is that how you say that? I got that all messed up. Well, how about introducing yourself? I am an anti gnosis humanoid fighting system. Gnosis, I had that right. Zero, 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 one. That's a heck of a serial number there, man. KPX, abbreviated name, Cosmos. As I am currently configured for simulated battle, my output is limited to 22% of its normal capacity. My Very fancy. My specifications are... All right, that's good enough. Thanks. You are welcome. All I have for you today are the usual startup tests. Sorry to wake you up just for that. Are you... You'll have to go is it like an intelligent robot, or... I... I Still confused on <laughs> what it is exactly. I thought we were going to be like piloting mechs or something. I didn't realize is this like a uh, uh, what the heck are they called? An android or something? In order to better facilitate a relationship with you, Chief Engineer Shion Uzuki of the Cosmos Project Vector Industries. Shion Uzuki? <laughs> they, they didn't sound too sure about themselves whenever they said that. Response is deemed necessary. However. The emotion module of my program has determined that this is not necessary at this time. All right, we get it. You're a robot. <laughs> I guess you're right. I, of all people, should know that. Your understanding is appreciated. But you know, Cosmos, I've got mixed feelings about all this. Of course, I'm happy that you're awake. But the fact that she'll go back to sleep makes me a bit sad. I mean, it's not like she's going hand, away forever, right? Just up, going to sleep. It may be a time of much we all go to sleep. Like, that's not that big of a deal, really. So deep down inside, I don't know what the problem is here. I hope that day never comes. Oh, so like, is she going to sleep for a long time? <laughs> I guess that's a, a little bit more of a thing then. You wouldn't mind sleeping, Noodle? I feel it. I feel it. I'm pretty tired myself, not gonna lie. I feel like I've been sleeping like crap lately, man. So while visually it looks better than a lot of games I feel like on the very early PS2 uh, lineup here, the voice acting definitely uh, still leaves a little bit to be desired. It's not terrible, by any means, but I think it could have been a, just a wee bit better, you know? 
These don't uh, sound like people with a whole lot of experience. Sure. Let's do that. Or maybe Did maybe the environment first? that they were in wasn't the the most con conducive to uh, some some high level voice acting performances here. You know, I know sometimes with like these old games and whatnot, they won't be given very good prompts or situation. Like they won't be told of the situation their character is in or whatever. Whenever they're supposed to be saying their lines, so they're just kind of flying by the seat of their pants, just kind of guessing as they go. Virtual tutorial. Okay. Uh, oh, there it goes. Okay. During quest, you'll trigger a battle when you come in contact with an enemy. Here, you'll need to talk to Cosmos. Select from the menu, then approach the soldier to start the battle. Now you can curse to your little heart's content. Fuck yes. <laughs> Target input complete. Normal attacks are normal attacks. Battle prog uh, program. Yep. Program has been set. Entering battle mode. Please approach the target. Changing targets. Switch to real combat. What? What are we doing? Shion, please. Select switch to real combat when you are ready. So wait, can I not deal with you now because oh wait we got a menu the menu looks kind of cool like the way that it went into the menu the animation there on it that was neat so we have just general items i didn't mean to close it x and circle are backwards i almost said the word again you gotta like whenever you do the irl word ban you gotta give it like a little bit of context man <laughs> just because i don't look over at it a whole lot I just kind of, I mostly just read chat, not the, the, the reward request queue thing that I got over on the other screen. So it just randomly pops up with a word. And then I almost said the word because I had no idea why you just randomly said that word. <laughs> All right. So we got items is what I was saying, but uh, X and circle are backwards. Not that big of a deal. I'm, I'm pretty used to that from other jrpgs and things like that we have ether i'm assuming that's like the item ether right you set and evolve ether transfer ether to other characters oh not quite what i thought it was then it's not that bad tech attacks choose a character set tech attack no attacks must be set to use lightning blast spell ray what is this okay you know what maybe instead of messing around with this stuff we should just uh get into it and see see what happens eh monitor settings I mean it looks fine <laughs> cool looks good <laughs> all right let's uh I guess what we have uh, crap I guess we have to uh switch targets to real combat I guess we have to do that battle program has be has been set you want to move on to real combat? All right, then I'll transport you to your original location after the battle is over. Are you ready? Uh, sure. I mean, I tried to talk to the dude and it didn't do anything, so I'm a little confused. This is your minor revenge for you picking on me with the side project. You're lucky the other thing is on cooldown. <laughs> on cooldown and more expensive. Every time it gets used, I'm gonna make it more expensive. <laughs> Speaking of the side project though, no, I don't have anything new really to share. I mean, I told uh, Nate a little bit, showed him a little bit, but uh, I'm not ready to, to show too much publicly at this point in time, so hopefully soon I'll be able to show more about it. Not only that, but also the main project that myself and Dorseman have been working on for a while. Actual battle. From now on, the enemies will attack. Keep your eye on the attack order to avoid taking unnecessary damage. Defeat the enemy on the right first as it can attack everyone at once. Because the enemy in the middle has high HP, it is a good idea to defeat it using tech attacks. The enemies are separated into three types. Some attacks are effective against certain types, so study the description of each attack. The following icon appears in the GTW. Biotype, mech type, gnosis type. Okay. Uh, so wait. X's menu, that's Ether, Item, Move, AGWS, and Guard. So it's not real time. It looks like we can take as much time as we want. That's good. We know this dude's fighting first or, or attacking first or whatever. Is Knuckle just the regular attack or... 
I guess so. Oh. <laughs> okay, did that use any points or anything? It doesn't look like it. So we can do... We can't do the circle, the FG shot. Because... What? Well, or... Crap. <laughs> because we don't have enough EP or AP or something? I don't I don't really know. Can we do blaster? We can. And then we can follow up with needle. I mean, it looked like it might have been cool if it hadn't been completely blocked by that thing in the middle. Oh, we got plenty of HP, man. I ain't worried at all. Firecracky, your firecracker cherry bomb. Let's go. All right, so it looks like using the red attacks, maybe drain our BG, whatever that is. Punch as assault. <laughs> Good looking animation right there. Honestly, I've been looking at the menu so much that I didn't even really notice. <laughs> That's all me. So, what do we get? We got a clear time, so we are being timed. That's good to know. We got money. And then experience, all that stuff, okay. Okay, so far it seems pretty standard. I just gotta figure out, are like the, the red ones the tech attacks that they're talking about? Or the blue ones or whatever? The combat system's kind of interesting, how you can like use an attack and then use a second one right afterward and kind of chains the two together. That's pretty cool. I like that. Chief, the data transfer is going smoothly. The A-line protocol is looking good. It sure is. The response levels are really good. If we can maintain these levels, we'll have some great results soon. Hey, yeah. good results are good. Chief? Is she like in love with Cosmos or something? Seem to got some feelings for this robot, man. And start from 400. Huh? 400? Chief, but that's... I feel pretty confident this time. But, Chief... That's how shit goes bad right there, man. Remember what happened last time? Yep, see? <laughs> Had we waited 10 more seconds to intervene, we wouldn't have been able to get you back at all. Ah, it'll be fine. Out in objective mode. You know we can't get precise data that way. Whatever thing you're being extremely vague about and not telling us, uh, it's who cares. <laughs> the very first fight, there was a glitch where you didn't get to see one of the... Oh, yeah, 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 where the camera went behind the the one dude, the, the mech-looking dude robot or whatever, and it completely blocked out the animation. That's what you were talking about with the, the good animation? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's a thing that happened in the very first fight. The worst part is it actually looked like it could have been cool, but it was completely Jesus. covered. This is so typical of her. Did she just Would say she okay, mom? Stop to think about the hell I go through for her. You know, oh, sir, all the drama. Worry about Chief Uzuki all the time. I'm surprised you haven't killed over already. Hey, that's enough. Is the 400 level program ready to go? We're ready to go I'm sure that looked like it could have been cool. Look. There was like, she went up in the air and like kicked him. And there were sparks and things. It could have been cool. But now we'll never know. It's too late. We'll never get to do that attack again. We'll probably get to do that attack again. But maybe that was the only time, man. And that stupid glitch will ruin it for all of us. Cosmos, I'll explain a little bit about this place. This place is an imaginary space constructed within the network. It's modeled off of some ruins from early 2000 AD. It's our time. Cool. Your mission is to fight the main target within the di dilapidated building. The target is marked with a red vector box. There are objects in here that can be detonated. Some are effective if you set them off near the enemy. Use them to your advantage. Now then, let's start the mission. Yes, I understood. Alright then, let's start the mission. Alright, so we can blow shit up to deal preliminary damage to people? How do we do that? Oh. We have some sort of gun or something. We can interact with things. That's pretty neat. Do we have, like, an options menu by any chance? Uh, just a pause menu and then whatever from the, the triangle menu. All battle systems are go. So we have... 1BG. Does that mean... Can we do Firecracker then? 
Oh, kick him in the face. <laughs> FG shot. I still don't understand what that means really, but we can do we can do a punch. Let's just let's just punch this fool. We'll punch him and then use our sword, man. That looked more like a slap than a punch, but you know what? It's fine, I'm sure. Energy bullet EB. What's that like scroll wheel thing too? In the bottom right, up. Now it says up. Does that mean we have like extra attack power or something? Knuckle stun shock. Is this the kick thingy? Oh, it wasn't a kick. Did she, was that what we did last time? Was it a hand thing, not a kick thing? I'm very confused. We still have a menu and I still don't know what any of this stuff does. What does move do? Move? Oh, we can just, we can literally like move you around the battlefield, okay. Ether. Self focused physical attack. So there's like some sort of power ups or something? I'm not sure. And then we have guard, which I mean, I'm pretty sure we understand what guard does at least. High critical. Weird Yellowstone Plus. I don't know what any of this stuff means, man. <laughs> Are they gonna explain it to us, or do I need to like read the entire manual to understand this game? I don't know. We got a med kit. I mean, I know what a med kit does, I, I think. It probably heals us a little bit. Gives us back a little bit of the HPs, you know? Breaking off a piece of chocolate. Ah. Super dark, delicious chocolate. So where you can just blow random shit up, is there any reason for that? Or just cause, why not, I guess? Bruh. You can't touch me, man. I mean, I probably should fight you for the XP and sh shit, but, you know. I just wanted to see if we could get away from it, and we totally can. It's good to know. Seems like we can also kind of sneak up on it. I don't know if we get any sort of bonus for attacking it from the back or anything like that, but... It's always good to know when you can do that sort of thing. Noodle. What's wrong, Noodle? You don't like, uh, don't like the, the dark chocolate? <laughs> I'm joking. I know you don't. She despises it. Gross. You're gross. Dark chocolate is amazing. I feel like the red attacks have to do, have something to do with the little red bar underneath our our profile pictures up there. So, okay. I don't know though, man. It seems like it's building up slowly, not going down every time I use those attacks. So does it fill up? Is it filling up a bad thing? Or does it always slowly fill up as we're attacking? And by using those attacks, I'm getting less every turn? I don't know. Warning! We're being attacked! Okay, here we go. Alright, so they both started out with absolutely none. That's good to know. We'll do both blue attacks this time. Okay, it's still building, even though we're using blue attacks. So it seems like it always builds as long as we use, or as long as we're attacking. Now, her AP bar has some stuff in it, but the, the BG bar or whatever doesn't have anything. So if we use two blue attacks again... Okay, it, it seemed to pull stuff from the AP bar each time we used one. So when it comes back to our turn again, will we get more AP every round? Okay, yeah, it looks like it. Now, what happens if we use the red attacks, the firecracker? It's still pulling from that. So is the only point of the different kinds of attacks the, like, effectiveness against whatever enemy you're fighting? I'm also assuming that there's some way to build up more of that stuff so we can do more than two attacks per our turn 
the next fight we'll get into, we'll try to only do like one attack and see if we can save a couple of those points for the next round. And I'm assuming that's the type of ooh, thing we can do. Ah, here it is. This should be the room. Okay. Hi, guy. Would you like to fight me? I would like to fight you. Alright, so we want to do just one attack. We'll do just the knuckle. And then end. It does seem to roll over to the next turn. Alright. Ah, oh, there it is. That's the one that we missed, man. As she, like, fork screwed into that guy. <laughs> Also, I should probably use some of those med kits we've been uh, collecting. We're getting a little low on health, but... Alright, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 now. So I can do Knuckle, Power Kick, Lightning Blast? Is that the tech move? Oh, it's definitely strong. Plus, I mean, 3 attacks in 1 turn is pretty decent. So is it telling us, like, maybe we should... On normal guys, just use, like, 1 attack, and then save up the the three plus combos or whatever for oh wait it let me do this too oh but wait it would have did more damage if we had just done three attacks <laughs> so i'm not sure if that was totally worth it doing the the circle the f shot or whatever the hell it's called i don't know if that was worth it or not to be honest with you in that situation, at least, I definitely don't think it was. Right, I definitely think we need to use a uh, med kit because she on here be uh, be looking a little a little hurt. One enemy slash ally slash W. Press triangle at AP six. What? <laughs> Press triangle at AP six. I have no idea what that means. No clue at all. Won't open from this side. I think it's locked. Okay. Will it open from this side? It will. Is that the same room? Uh, no. Uh, maybe. What is that? Did we go the right way unintentionally? I was trying to go the wrong way. I was just trying to get to that room and whatever item there was in there. RPGs, you always want to go the wrong way. You never want to go the right way. Also, that's a giant freaking mech fading into existence. Holy hell. When do we get to use that thing? Instead of Xion running around fighting, I feel like we should just have one of them guys doing it. Oh, okay, never mind. We're fighting it, it looks like. <laughs> that works too, I suppose. You know, whatever. AGWS. In this battle, it's possible to pilot an AGWS by selecting AGWS in the submenu. Okay. First, select the AGWS from the menu. Use the left right directional button to select its position and press circle to call it. Your turn ends once it is called. And then what? Now it's just a regular a regular turn. So this is like Dynamaxing in Pokemon? <laughs> To control the AGWX, attack with square and triangle. Consumed AP vary with different weapons. Okay. Furthermore, the sub menu will change slightly. In what way? W Act is available when the same weapons are equipped on both arms. Six AP is required. Ether cannot be used. Items cannot be used. Move changes your position. Okay. Choosing AGWS again makes you exit your mech suit. And guard guards. Okay. 
You will not be able to recover during the battle if the AGWS HP reaches zero, so don't die. Got it. Um, okay, so it requires three HP for square, four for triangle. Well, let's do triangle. Why not? We have enough to do it. Shoot it with that freaking machine gun, boy. Let's go. Go all out. Dude, we're still doing more damage with just a normal person than we are that giant mech. Like, <laughs> okay, now granted, Cosmos isn't a, exactly a normal person, but she's a freaking beast, dude. There's so much more damage out of her than that AGWS. Heck yeah. Loading. Slowly loading. Status check. I don't see anything unusual. All systems are stable. It's looking good. This ought to make up for last month. I sure hope so. Cosmos has reached the checkpoint. Entering process 431. Replacing targets with Type G drones. Commencing display. <laughs> Okay. I'm still very confused about the story and what's going on and whatnot. Like, gameplay-wise, the game seems fine so far. Graphically, it perfectly fine. Have no complaints, man. But, uh, it's not doing the best job of selling me on the story, you know? It seems interesting right off the bat with the whole them exploring Earth and then all the lights and now suddenly in the future and all that. But, like, I'm just confused as hell. Chief, did you ever do an ad? No, not yet. We will soon. I haven't been doing them every half hour like I was. I I probably should because it keeps the pre-rolls turned off by doing them every half hour. But that also means I have to run more ads. And like, if I had my own choice, I would I would never run ads. But it's like, you have to. But we'll probably do one a little bit, uh, probably in just a few minutes, actually. Why, are you wanting to use the bathroom or something? Like, <laughs> or did you just think I forgot? Chief, I've changed the settings on the target drones. The next target is keyed to sound, so it'll only respond if you make a loud noise. You can move quietly if you hold down the R2 button while moving. Also, that thing behind you is a save point. If you press the circle button there, you can save your progress and make good use of it. Okay, that's good to know. We like save points. We can also blow shit up. That's always handy. Is there a reason that we wanted to blow that up? I don't know, but... <laughs> Why? I know how much you love ads. Oh, yeah, no, they're just my absolute favorite thing in the world. Let me tell you. All right, so we can we can just press slowly on the, the joystick. Hey, thank you for the bits, love. I appreciate it. Or we can hold R2 to walk around. I, I like that they have a dedicated button for that because uh, I'm kind of an all-or-nothing guy with the joystick most of the time. <laughs> you thought I forgot? I didn't forget. I know I got to do them still. Access the UMN Unis Mundus Network. Unis Mundus? <laughs> Is that like that thing that uh, Markiplier did or something? <laughs> Mail. Read and reply to all emails. We got, we got email, guys. This is, wow, so incredible. When the opening moves of a battle seem difficult, try the following. Try strengthening your tech attack. Tech attacks consist of the three important elements below. Tech, speed, and weight. Downtime after using... Okay. Let's take a look at two speeds. Speed is the pace at which a character can deliver a tech attack. There are two levels that exist, low and high. Speed of a newly acquired tech attack is a thing. Uh, the low slot tech attack cannot be executed if the button is not pressed twice. Wait, two buttons used to set attack? Wait, one, two button used, okay. Two is the set tech attack. Okay, I think I kind of understand. You donate so many bits, and I always say thank you, love. I'm waiting for the day you say thank you, love, to someone else out of habit. It's almost happened a couple times, not gonna lie. <laughs> I always have to kind of catch myself whenever I see the bits pop up. Because that is my, uh, like, what do you call it? Gut, not gut reaction, but like, uh, I don't know, first reaction or whatever. Just instinct, my habit, you know? <laughs> out of habit. The first thing I do is uh, go to say, thank you, love. And then, like, wait a second, that's not Noodle. You're not my love. 
<laughs> I don't know you. Thank you so much, but yeah. Similarly, the speed for a high-tech attack is set in the high slot. The attack can be executed by pushing the button once. One button used. Okay. So low speed ones are used at the end, high speed ones are used at the beginning. Speed for high tech attacks can be set in either the low or high slot. Low tech attacks require two button presses. Uh, you can execute tech attacks with one input for high. In other words, the speed of execution is faster. Tech attacks with low speed can only be used once every other turn. If it is strengthened to high, however, you will be able to use this technique once every turn. In other words, by strengthening the tech attack speed, you can deliver more damage to the enemy party. When characters P points are over 150, that's tech points I'm assuming, speed can be strengthened from low to high. In order to strengthen tech attacks, characters require T points, but few points are accumulated at the onset of the game. Uh, T points are accumulated by defeating enemies in battle. Points, moreover, differ by enemy. During battle, focus on attacking a single enemy. Pay attention to decreasing HP. Save often. That's like a big dump, and honestly, it's not the most uh, well laid out, I feel like. It's a little bit confusing to, to read. Each character has one weapon equip slot, and also has accessories. Okay. Certain weapons can equip different types of ammo. This applies to Xion's weapon, as an example. It is not possible to unequip ammo by itself. It is possible, however, to exchange ammo with other types. Subweapons. This technique is specific to the characters who cannot board an AGWS. In Cosmos's case, all her weapons that may be equipped are subweapons. Okay. In order to use the subweapon during battle, six AP points are required. AP, or attack points, are necessary in order for characters to take action, execute attacks, move, and guard. Use up to three accessories may be equipped, blah, blah, blah. Point review, characters gain, shit for doing shit. Got it. Okay. That one's not too bad. I think we understand that one. And then we... We got the tutorial on how to do AGWS, right? Oh, we can actually, like, change out their equipment and shit, too. That's all this is telling us, it looks like. Okay. I think we understand most stuff. I'm not totally sure on the whole tech thing still, to be honest with you. But it's fine, I guess. A client which enables the use of email functions. We can use plugins. What? <laughs> we, we can use email plugins. That's That's a thing, I guess. Where is the save? We're in the save zone, right? Do we hit start? Nope. Select. Square. I'm sure it told us. <laughs> circle. I think it's circle. There we go. Okay. With that, with us saving, it's the perfect time to take a short break. So we're just going to go for just a couple minutes, guys. Just get rid of the pre-roll ads. Give myself a chance to grab a drink and stand up and stretch and all that stuff. But we'll be back. No one's going to miss anything. I promise. So we'll be right back, guys, in like two minutes or so. They both look, they both look right. <laughs> I could have swore I had one for each. RGB limited. There we go. I must have set that to full at some point, probably for the stones. Those who desire to acquire ancient ways of war shall offer the blood of monsters in exchange. So we give this to the, the red orbs. I kind of, I mean, some of the camera views are a little bit weird, but I actually kind of like fixed camera angles in games. It's not responding. I better unseal the door beneath here first. Oh, so we don't give them directly to it, I suppose. You almost forgot you told your boss about you and get this. Said he's moving his streams to Twitch. Hey, where's, uh, where's he streaming at now? YouTube or something? Oh. <sighs> I like, uh, I don't know, I've always been a big fan of Twitch. I've been around on Twitch for a long-ass time, to be honest. Uh, streamed under a couple different accounts at different times, but never really took it seriously until more lately, you know, the past uh, handful of months. And then uh, this is where I prefer to watch other people stream and stuff, too. Twitch has just got a, it's got a nice setup, you know? It feels right, man. Although... YouTube and stuff like that aren't, aren't bad. And I spend a shit ton of time watching stuff on YouTube, so I really can't say anything bad about it. Like, that's where I spend the majority of my time watching anything. Is on YouTube. That feels like a door or something we should be able to look at, but nope. Oh, that was cool. 
YouTube, but YouTube is being a dick for them, so they're moving it to here. You bet your ass you're sending you his profile so you can see why I thought YouTube might be the same person. <laughs> uh, what do they stream, if you don't mind me asking? Is it, like, mostly gameplay and stuff like that, or do they do something else? Oh, uh, I feel like we can make that jump, man. It feels, like, super close. 3D printing and video games? I vaguely remember you mentioning that, actually. Now that you said the 3D printing, because I mentioned around the same time that I'm also into the whole 3D printing thing, but I just don't own a 3D printer yet, or I would probably mess around with it a lot more. His hair isn't as long as yours, but still. <laughs> um, okay. This door is sealed shut. A rusty key may help. Okay, we haven't got the rusty key. Can't seem to go anywhere else. We got... Oh, we do got the 45 orbs, though. Holy shit. Didn't even notice, man. That didn't take all that long at all. Take my orbs, bro. Hello! We're back. Did everybody have a wonderful break? I hope everybody had a wonderful break. Mine was absolutely fantastic. I stood up. I stretched my legs. I even took a drink. Everything was amazing. Uh, will this take us into that room that we were actually trying to get into? I'm assuming down is where we need to go, but yeah, I was trying to figure out what the hell this is. It looks like a blue VHS tape almost. <laughs> a mission key. Now I can unlock the door. So, I'm assuming that was a little bit necessary. Also, what kind of weapon do we have? It looks like she pulls out a cell phone or something, zaps it with some weird wave thing, and then suddenly everything just goes boom. Also, hello! <laughs> Holy crap, didn't know there were gonna be enemies out here now. I mean, that's fine though. We can deal with them. Shock Bolt EL? Not a problem, I am sure. You're getting a shower noodle? Bye! Well, fine, just leave me like that. <laughs> Enjoy your shower, love. I, uh, I need to get one myself here after the stream and things. Airborne enemies. Against airborne enemies, use triangle direct line attacks. You cannot use square, which are close range. Oh, so that's the difference between them. Square are like hand-to-hand, -hand, triangle are weapons or, or whatever. Okay, fair enough. You're stinky. <laughs> Rude. Firecracker and cherry bomb. Go for it. So is that, so like, does everybody just have, uh, some sort of gun in this game? Or are we going to end up having melee only characters at some point? Something I wonder. I imagine they would split it up a little bit though, you know, have some characters that are only melee, some maybe that are only non-melee. It would make sense at least. Can we cross this bridge? Because I didn't even try last time. Because I didn't think we were going this way. Uh, item? Hey, we got a pill! <laughs> a revive. Okay. Cool. I can see that coming in handy, man. I've died once or twice in video games before. You know, just just once or twice, though. I'm... I'm... Mm. Not that. I guess we have to go down the ladder. We shall we shall go down. See what there is. What are we even doing here? We're collecting something for some reason. I know when we were downstairs, they were like, hey, here's the area you want to go to. Go to it. So I guess we will. <laughs> ah, look at that. We can climb up and down ladders. Such wow. Already better than Skyrim. <laughs> it is weird to me that you can't climb ladders in, in Skyrim and uh, Fallout and all that, you know? Obtained an ether pack. Still not 100% sure what ether does, but we'll take it. Med kits. Med kits are simple enough. We understand that. Anything else that we can blow up with our magical cell phone? Yes. <laughs> an enemy. There was an enemy in that box. <laughs> Didn't expect that, but that's fine. What are you? You look like some sort of weird bug robot thing. Is this where the devs for Horizon Zero Dawn got their <laughs> got their inspiration? Okay, so let's uh 
That didn't do shit. Oh, we have as much time as we want in between attacks, too. I thought we had to, like, quickly select what we were doing or whatever. No, they, uh... They do it for us pretty quickly. Also, these things are actually... Kinda... Kicking our ass, man. Um... Okay, let's try Blaster and Needle. We'll try two different types of attacks. So, Triangle did 20. Okay, but that was also a critical, though. So, I can't really... Gotta take that with a grain of salt there. Also... Shion might be dead. Menu. Can I do an AGWS here? I can't. But I can have you use an item, I presume, yeah? HP recovery... Press triangle at AP6. So wait, if we have... If we have 6 AP, we can just press triangle? And it does stuff? I don't... I don't understand. Yeah, well, whatever. You, you really gotta heal yourself, because... You are hurt, girl. I mean, the other one's taking some damage, but not nearly as bad. Uh, okay, so you have one, two, three, four, five now. So you have an odd number of AP. That's fine. Who cares? You're doing, like, no damage against these things, though. At all. I don't know if you're just that much weaker than them, or... Or weaker than, than Co Cosmos? <laughs> Cosmos? <laughs> Whatever the hell her name is. Or if they're just like re re resistant to us. I do notice that they are the other type of enemy. Whatever you want to call them. The Gen 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 Genevieve's. Genosa. Genochi. <laughs> Let's have you both do a tech attack. Just because I want to see what the tech attacks look like. For, for y'all. Let's do a triangle, triangle, circle. Spell ray. Alright, so so big firebomb, big firebomb, and then we do a magic spell? What? <laughs> we, we load a magic spell into our gun and then shoot it at them. <laughs> that, that, sure, whatever. It works, man. That's, <laughs> that was weird, but it worked. Next level 31. So we're like getting close to leveling up. I imagine this will be like most JRPGs where we don't really get to pick how we level up. It just kind of does it for us as we go along. But Chief, items aren't the only things that are inside containers. You don't freaking say. <laughs> I never would have guessed considering the fact that we just saw a monster pop out of a freaking box. You could have maybe told us that before. In their defense, I could have tried to run away from it or something, but nah, you know, where's the fun in that? Discovered segment address number 10. It is marked as segment address number... Oh. Were we not, like, going in there? Huh. Was that not the end goal? I'm confused. Do we just need to go back to the beginning now or something? Is there a, a screen that tells us what the hell we're doing? Because I'll be honest with you, I'm a little bit lost, boy. We have characters. We have battle formations. UMNs, game options. I don't see anything about that. You set and evolve ether. Transfer ether to other characters. Use ether available to Shion. Set ether. Caution, you must complete the step in order to utilize any ether skills. Use E points to obtain new ether skills and or transfer them to other characters. Medica. One enemy or ally, and it recovers a small amount of HP. That's fine. How much ether do we have? 36. We need 40, though. Set ether. What? What does that mean? Set ether. Use Medica? Wait, what? <laughs> I thought we hadn't unlocked it yet. Use ether points to obtain new ether and or transfer them to other characters. Oh, oh, we can evolve it. Use E points to obtain new ether skills. You, okay, or we can transfer it to other characters. Oh, okay, so ether is like our magic system? Focused attack? Use? That's combat only. Okay, I'll be honest, I don't 100% understand that yet, but I'm sure if we were to play more of this game, 
we would uh we would figure it out it seems like it's just some sort of magic system or magic adjacent style system doesn't seem like it's anything that would be too complicated And then we should probably also, in this next room, I imagine, is where the... Yeah, that's the dude that reacts to sound. I'm assuming. So if we just, like, walk carefully, or maybe this is the one. Wait, do you react to sound, or can, are you just blind? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, so that's the thing that we need, but... I think we gotta get through this door. No, presumably, that's what the key we got is for. Yeah, we'll be fine. No worries. You just gotta murder some fools, that's all. As they're shooting laser beams at us. <laughs> Alright, these dudes are pretty strong. The, the, the Nochi. The Nochi monsters. Uh, we're saving our stuff for other stuff. Alright, Firecracker, Spin Kick, Lightning Blast. Mmm, bread and butter. Hey, speaking of bread and butter, you know what I did buy? I got some of that really fancy butter. <laughs> the, I forget what it's called. The, the Irish butter. What the heck is that stuff called? I can't remember. Yeah, 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 Carrie's Gold or whatever the hell it's called. I ended up buying some. And, like, I cooked with it, and the food came out fine, so no complaints there or whatever. But then I, I also just tried a little bit of it on its own to see if it was worth all the, the, the extra money and the hype. And to be honest, other than the fact that it's softer than regular butter, and that it's very, very yellow. Other than that, I didn't really understand the hype, just to be completely honest with you, man. Like, it's fine. But it, it just tasted like butter, maybe with a little bit less buttery taste. <laughs> I, I, I was confused, to be honest. I was expecting it to have a much richer taste on its own, but I don't know. It was also unsalted butter, though, so that probably didn't help the, the flavor profile of it at all, whenever I just tried a, a tiny little bit of butter on its own. If it had been salted, I'm sure it would have uh, had much more flavor to it. But since I bought it for, like, frying stuff up in and whatnot, I didn't see the point in buying it salted. That just means I have less control over the salt that I'm putting in my, my food. But obviously for, like, toast and shit, yeah, you want you want that salted butter, alright? Gotta have that little, that little sprinkle of salt in there, man. There Unlock the flavor in the butter. So... I guess the long and short of it is I'm totally going to try it again, but I'm going to get the, the salted next time and or uh, the, the, they have like a, a herb, herby garlic butter or whatever. Maybe I'll try that one as well. Came out a lot for you with mashed potatoes. Yeah. And like, like I said, it is definitely creamier in its texture than other butters. It's a lot softer. Than the cheap butter that I usually buy at, at cold temp cold temperatures, so that's nice. Like I feel like it would spread a lot better. And its color's pretty amazing for just straight butter, how yellow it is. Like <laughs> Is this how we die? This is how we die. Uh did the game freeze up? Okay, there it goes. <laughs> Took a moment to load the the battle there. I got I got worried. Uh, did it heal us? It did not heal us. So, oh wait, what's the boost do? Hold on, wait, what? <laughs> Near slash hit line change. So that just like gives us a name or what it is. What's boost though? I don't understand what the boost part is. Huh. Confused. Line blank beam near slash hit slash blank. Uh... I don't know what it is, but it is something. Also, we can do, like, no damage to this thing. Can we use an AGW here? I hope we can. Oh, you're like almost dead, bro. Does she go next or does he go next? I feel like 
Hold up. Can we use an AGW? We can. Okay. Let's hop into our AGW real quick. <laughs> and then... I don't know where I just put that AGW at. Right behind the other character. Probably not, not the best idea. Ether. Mode A7. Self. Focus physical attack. I mean, as much as I would love to do that, you kind of got to heal yourself, bro. Because uh, you're not looking so good. Also, I feel like it's got to be a small one, even though I hate to waste all that itemage. The herb was really good. Use it to fry steak. You need to get it again and try it with other stuff. The butter was really good in your scrambled eggs. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, like I said, I want to try it with more stuff. We still have like a stick and a half of it because the pack we bought came two to, a, two to a package, two sticks to a package. So, like, I still want to try it, don't get me wrong, with other stuff, but, uh, yeah. I just, uh, it, it, it didn't quite live up to, to what I expected it to be, just from all the hype that everybody had given it. If it weren't for everybody constantly talking it up so much, I, I think I would have been pretty happy with it, just from what little experience I did have with it. Oh, that dude ended up being a lot easier than I expected. You do agree, though, that it's not too different of a taste-wise when it co comes to tossing it on bread? Yeah. But I feel like it would be a lot easier to spread on bread because it's so much creamier than, than regular butter is on its own. Like at a cold temperature or whatever. Less than a stick and a half thanks to eggs and beef. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot you did make some uh, beef for the ramen today, too. I had noodle fry up some extra, extra beefy beef to put down in the ramen, man. The, the chicken-flavored ramen with beef in it because... That's how we roll. So <laughs> Shift target to real mode. We'll test the Hilbert effect. What? Chief, you're supposed to My nose is completely fucking Cosmos, stuffed, dude. Activate Hilbert. Roger. Activating Hilbert effect. We bought an air purifier. I need to uh I need to hook it up in the bedroom. We plugged in downstairs just to see how it was working, but I need to bring it up to the bedroom and plug it in. I just had to find somewhere to put it, but I think I, I think I know somewhere that I can sit it now. So I don't know like if it's dust in the room or something or what, but my nose is like stuffy as hell, man. It was two chickens and a beef, by the way. Yeah, we like to mix our boy and cubes a lot in this household. <laughs> oh, it is. You've legit grabbed it before because you want to saw butter when you got home. Really had a hankering for bread and butter. I uh, was considering doing that last night to try it, but uh, we were like out of bread or we only had a heal left maybe or whatever. So I didn't end up doing it, but we have a uh, fresh loaf of bread now, so not any sort of fancy bread, just a regular loaf of wheat. But still, I'm probably going to toast a slice up here after the stream and uh, munch on it a little bit, try it out. You do that also? It's great. Honestly, it is, man. Like, the mixture of flavors is just really, really good between the two. Also, why did a little girl come out of the, uh, the Genesect over there? <laughs> is that us? Is that, is that little, little me? Little Shion? Chief! That dude just came through the Matrix and ripped us out. What the hell? I have no idea what's going on, man. Honestly, I'm, I'm very confused. <laughs> I, I'm sure I'd understand a little bit better if I paid more attention. But at the same time, I feel like they're not doing a great job of explaining anything. So were, were we in the memories? Or like... Were... It's a virtual world or whatever. I know they said that, but... I I was like, have a heart what, what's up with the corruption and shit, man? It's because we pushed really Cosmos too far, you so everything got corrupted. So we were interfacing with her in some way. But, like, does else? she have... Is she an ancient mm -hmm. robot oh, or something? Does she have her own memories and shit? I'm very confused. Today's our deadline, so I'm sure they'll be asking for it soon. Attention. You think the big difference comes with cooking when it comes to carries? Makes amazing mashed potatoes, adds a really good taste to steak. You have not got to with your regular, and you do like it for eggs also. Next time I make eggs, I'll definitely try it out for that too. I've had it, I haven't had it in steak yet, because we haven't bought our steaks. We've been eating other things. Uh, although, we're both looking forward to steak here soon. Oh, brogies? It'll probably be pretty good on the brogies that we're eating with our steak.
I'll tell you, it is, uh, I, I mean, regular butter is too, but it's pretty good uh, mixing in a little bit with ramen broth. Whenever I make broth for ramen, or any sort of uh, decadent broth from a boyan cube, I like to add a little bit of butter to it. Because, like, if you make a, a natural broth by cooking down, you know, meat or beef or chicken or pork or whatever, there's going to be a little bit of fat that gets mixed into the broth, and I like that little bit of fat in it. But whenever you make it from a boyan cube, you don't get any of that, that fattiness to it, you know? And fat carries flavor, like... Uh, it, it, a lot of fats don't have much of its own flavor, but they help carry flavor, and uh, some heavier than others, so it gives it a really full taste, you know, a, a well-rounded taste. So I like adding a little bit of fat to my, my, my stock, to my broth, I guess, <laughs> and the carries gold worked relatively well to that. You add butter and occasionally some milk. I've never tried broth with milk. But honestly, it would probably be good. Yeah, I could see that being cool. Like, just a splash down in there or something like that. Yeah. Exit from current space at an absolute time, 1300 on the 22nd. 7 hours, 16 minutes, and 30 seconds to withdraw. Next UMN column in 7 hours, What the hell does UMN stand for again? Offline until then. Just a splash, it's great, yeah. Like I said, I can totally see it, man. I've never tried milk, but I, I've used, like, sour cream. Not in directly in broth, but with uh, with ramen, for instance, as well as, uh, like, beef stroganoff and stuff like that, which has a really condensed kind of broth in with it. Mix a little bit of uh, sour cream in that, obviously, and it's amazing. So I can totally see where that's coming from. And, yeah, I bet it would be great. First time you tried it is because you were out of butter? That makes sense, yeah. <laughs> Growing up, we uh, we weren't a, a milk family whenever I was a teenager living with my grandpa, like, at all. So anytime we were making mac and cheese or anything like that, we pretty much always just made it with butter. <laughs> butter and water, and that was it. Just add an extra scoop of butter to replace all the, the milk fat and <laughs> stir it up real good. Done. <laughs> it wasn't quite as creamy, I guess, but hey, it was delicious. I didn't care. It worked, man. I mean, really, at the end of the day, you got to remember, butter is just separated milk, you know? So, like, it makes sense. You just don't get all the, the proteins and whatnot, necessarily. You still make it like that, Law? I have once in the past, like, five, six years or something like that. Because, again, I think we were out of milk one day and I wanted some mac and cheese for one reason or another. So, yeah. <laughs> Dump a little bit of butter down in there, a little bit of extra butter, and... Mm. But, as I mentioned before... Bro, I grew up with potato flakes. And I never realized how much less flavor it has on its own until I tried potato flakes the other day after not having them for well, the other day. It's been a month, couple months now. Um, but yeah, that was the first time I had it in years and I didn't realize how much different it was. And I was like, after eating like half of my bowl of, of potatoes, mashed potatoes, I was like, nah, man, this, is, this isn't all that great. I remember it being so much better than this. What the hell is wrong with it? So I went into the kitchen, I added extra salt and extra butter, and stirred it up, and then that's when I realized that when I was growing up, it's not that I was eating mashed potatoes, we basically ate uh, butter flavored with potatoes, you see? <laughs> and, and that's why I never really noticed the difference. Once you add enough butter and salt to it, it doesn't matter. It tastes delicious regardless of whether it's uh, instant or... or or, or fresh potatoes. To turn in the A7 today. Now, to be fair, though, like, flavored instant potatoes, I still think are really good. But it was just the, the box the, of, of regular dry potatoes was, uh, yeah, it was very, very bland. Until I added a shit ton of butter and a bit of extra salt to it. You know exactly what I mean, Nate? Yeah. Yeah, boy. No. Uh. What trump card? Yeah, what is our trump kid? That's right. So Cosmos is confirmed battle android. Okay. That's true. Hey, I heard that project's really behind schedule. I heard your mom's really behind schedule. 
Bruh. casualties during their last boot up test two years ago. They're being more careful this time. It's hard to believe they're making an android in this day and age. The only place what? I've Wait. ever seen them is in old space novels. Well, Wait, are androids uh, like still an experiment. old well, tech then, or are they new tech? Make that much of a difference. The whole I feel like 4,000 years in the future, they should really have android technology done and dusted, you know? Like, should be on to the next thing already. They say ignorance is bliss. Looks like they were right. Commander? I'm just envious, that's all. Grew up very similar. We had years we ate a lot of fresh and where it was as cheap as possible. I mean, we had fresh mashed potatoes a few times, but we pretty much always ate them out of a box. Almost always. It was just easier, I think. Especially when I was young, young. You know, my mom had uh, four boys and a girl to feed and then of course you know her then sure. husband and herself there so there was a lot of mouths to feed going around so mashing up a giant pot of potatoes versus boiling some water and dumping potatoes in it you know like <laughs> it was a huge difference in amount of work there so i can't blame her for it and again i didn't even realize there was much of a difference with the way we made it until more recently <laughs> And sure, was it the healthy, healthiest thing in the world? No, but we all turned out fine. It's fine. Whatever. This should be good enough. Sounds like your mom needed some potato careful. balls. I don't think I've ever told that story on stream. I was a teenager, right? And we used to get these these boxes of food. I don't remember the name of the company that would give them out to to very poor people, and I was very poor people. So they would give us these boxes of food, and. Uh, one of the things that came in the box one time was instant mashed potatoes. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I know how to make instant mashed potatoes. I don't even need to, to measure it out or anything like that. I just boiled up some water, whatever felt right, and then I dumped some in. But whenever I went to dump them in, they were balls, not flakes. And I was like, well, that's weird, but whatever. It's just instant mashed potatoes. So I keep dumping them in, stir it up a little bit, dump some more in, stir it up. After I, I dump, like, half this box in or whatever of it, and it finally seems like it's enough, and I just keep stirring, but the pot just keeps growing, and growing, and growing, and it wouldn't stop. These mashed potatoes just kept going until it was, like, overflowing out of my biggest pan, man. So I look at the box, and it turns out, I don't remember exactly how much it was supposed to make, but this was, like, an ultra, ultra concentrate compressed instant mashed potatoes. So instead, like, the flakes that take up a lot of room, it's, like, compressed into these little balls. Sure so one box made like gallons of potatoes like <laughs> it was ridiculous man so after i you know i kept adding water kept stirring it up and this pot's like overflowing and there were still just little balls of uh dry potato compressed potato pills i guess you would call it i don't even know in there it was ridiculous but i mean i ate it anyways it was it was fine tasting but my lord it was way too many potatoes and i've never Again, after that moment, seeing uh, <laughs> potato balls, or whatever they're technically called. Yeah, it's like compressed instant mashed potatoes. They were some weird ass things, man. When you had Wick, or your mom used it for potatoes and such, you're not knocking, there's a bunch of comfort foods I still make to this day like that. Same, same. Uh, just, just tomato juice, noodles, garlic, powder usually, salt. That's about it. That's like my comfort food. You just mix all those things together in a bowl, and it's one of the best things in the world for me, man. Absolutely love it. Mac and cheese in those boxes are your favorite? Yeah, 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 yeah. One of our ma blah, blah, blah. one of our regular meals here was a weird broke recipe your great grandma made. Bro, I'm always down to hear some weird broke recipes. So if you wanna if you wanna div divulge, man, by all means. By the way, Chief, what did you think of the MWS and the AGWS? What is MWS? We know what the AGWs are, but it's just dummy data created inside the Encephalon. But <laughs> sure, but it was pretty exciting stuff, wasn't it? If neither had problems during this test, all that remains are the functionality tests using actual models. Xion, it worked pretty well. The MWS in particular felt right to me. I sense something contrived in that, though. Well, I hear Miyuki is closely involved with the MWS. I'm sure she's up to something again. Oh, by the way, could you send the connection gear data to headquarters for me? You know, the vaporizer plugin that we use to destroy obstacles? 
I wonder if they're also going to manufacture it based on our test data. I swear, they pile everything they can on us under the pretext of testing Cosmos. Cosmos. Well, it's inevitable, considering they have a lot of other concerns, like the budget. Ah, uh, gotta love capitalism. <laughs> budget this, budget that. Look at this freaking spaceship. Who, cure, who, uh, who cares about the budget? Words are still hard, man. Always hard. <laughs> They're called red things? What? <laughs> red things? That sounds amazing. It's tomato paste with some milk and butter and you use macaroni noodles? You're going to have to be a little more specific than that. But red thing. It's tomato paste with milk and butter and you use macaroni noodles. So wait a second. Do you like mix up the... Roof's not here to keep track? Yeah. Of me screwing up English? It's a good thing. I'm really struggling today. Uh, so wait, do you mean like you mix up the tomato paste, milk, and butter, and seasoning into like a, a soup sort of deal? And then you, you cook up macaroni noodles and put in it? Is that what you mean? Because if that's what you mean, it's almost exactly the same as mine, just with milk. Because <laughs> the only difference between that and mine is that we would use uh, straight tomato juice instead of using tomato paste and something to thin it out, you know, whether it's milk or water or whatever. I don't know if that's like an area thing, the the noodles and tomato juice or what. My family technically doesn't come from from this area though. They come from like uh was it Tennessee or something like that? I don't remember where from exactly. So I don't know if like they brought it with them from there or if it's a this area sort of thing or if it was just a popular food for poor people in general <laughs> just cooking up some noodles and dropping it in some tomato juice with seasoning or what but it's freaking delicious mix up tomato paste milk and butter with some seasoning keep it a pretty thick consistency then add in the noodles okay okay so kind of like a uh, kind of like a rigatoni without the meat or something like that that's cool i like it i like it that's pretty similar then to what i had the only difference is yours is thick and made with with milk um whereas mine's like a soup yours is like a stew you you got the stew version i got the soup version of the same thing then <laughs> am i the only one who didn't have a weird tomato dish i guess so but i also feel like you didn't grow up that poor noodle to be honest with you i'm not like uh i'm not i'm not rich shaming here or or whatever but like you had a little bit of money growing up you know I didn't. <laughs> I didn't have... We had very little money growing up. And from what I know about Nate, I'm pretty sure, at times at least, uh, his family wasn't too far off from that. <laughs> yep, it is. You were kind of laughing to yourself about it. That's awesome, man. I'm probably going to try that one of these days now. Tomato paste, milk, and butter. Add some seasoning. I put in some noodles. Dude, That, like I said, that honestly sounds pretty good. I'm going to try it out 100%. We're just going to kind of sit here and bullshit at this point because I feel like if we uh, start up any missions or anything, we're not going to finish it in the next five, six minutes. So I'm just going to sit here and bullshit with you guys, really. Talk about these uh, these these cheap-ass foods. I mean, we weren't rich, though. Oh, no, no. I know that, Noodle. I'm not saying that, like, you come from some multi-millionaire families or something like that. But <laughs> but you you guys had some money, though. There were times where we had no money. The only reason we had cable growing up is because we stole cable from uh, the grandparents living next door. Like, <laughs> the only reason we had electricity was because we stole electricity from the... That part, I don't know if it's true. We might have had our own breaker box. I'm, I'm not positive, though, one way or the other. We only had water because we happened to live on a uh, plot of land with a, a natural spring. Um, like I said, the electricity we might have paid for. We didn't have internet of any kind. Because, you know, there was no way we were affording that, even though it was available in our area. Uh, there was one air conditioner in the entire house. It didn't work. Uh, so you had to stand directly in front of it <laughs> to get cooled down at all. At all, man. Like, you would be sweating your balls off. <laughs> and you would just have to walk into the kitchen and stand two inches from this air conditioner so you didn't die of heat stroke. Like, great times. Great times. We went through so many, like, extremely shitty vehicles because we just got the cheapest vehicles possible. And then, you know, they'd break down, so you get the next $300 junker or whatever a friend's giving away or <laughs> whatever the case may be. There were times we only, uh... 
really had protein because we hunted for a protein. But I mean, and that's the thing though, you know, like we grew up poor, but we didn't really, or I didn't even really realize we were that poor except for the times where like, you know, cause you hear your parents talking growing up and whatnot and, and you catch on to little things like them not being able to pay bills or, or being behind on this and that or whatever and seeing how sad they are. So outside of that, like I never really felt poor growing up though, you know, we always had food on the table. They always made sure we had food on the table. Uh, come Christmas and whatnot, there were times where we were asked if we would be willing to wait until, at the time I didn't know what until exactly, but until income tax season, right? We would be asked, uh, some of us, if we would wait until then to get our presents or whatever. Um, but we still got decent things for, for Christmas and for birthdays and all that. Um, once every year or two, we would still do something as a family. It was never any huge trips like across the country or anything like that, but we would go to a theme park somewhere or, you know, to save up some money so that we would have money to go to the local fair. Uh, things like that, you know, go camping, uh, sometimes just out in the wilderness, wherever, sometimes at a real spot. Like we, we were poor, but we never felt poor is like, you know, them syrup sandwiches. Yeah. Most of the time. Last uh, years you lived there, they started to get a better financial place. Dude, my mom had to hook up and straight had cable stolen directly from the pole. Nice. Very nice. And then he got with me and called me spoiled. You were spoiled. <laughs> Your mom had a Saturn that we would either had to be on a hill or give the car a push for a running start for it to fire up. Bruh, been there. Not, not with us, like not with my parents directly, but one of my cousins had a, a truck like that. We had to... Uh, uh, get it going down the hill at his mom's house. We had to give it a push to get it started down the hill, and then he'd have to pop the clutch to get it to, get it to start. Yeah. Mostly about my clothes, though, haha. Yeah, I mean, we grew up, right, we wore our clothes until you couldn't wear those clothes anymore, and our new clothes were either because the, the state gave us money to buy new clothes for school, and we would go to Gabe's to get the, to stretch that as far as we possibly could. So those were the new clothes that we got were the the mess ups that they would sell at Gabe's um, or they would be hand me downs from people at the church or people other people in the family <laughs> like we we didn't get new clothes from from Walmart or uh, from JC Penney's or anything like that like I couldn't imagine when I was a kid spending like fifty dollars on a pair of jeans or however much like I yeah n bruh I didn't even know <laughs> that jeans could be that expensive. We bought all of our shit from, from Gabe's and whatnot, so I just had no idea. You and Sierra are both from poorer households. Yeah, yeah. Again, and, and not to... I'm not trying to uh, to say Noodle came from, you know, a rich family or anything like that. I'm not trying to say that, and that you didn't have struggles or anybody with money didn't have struggles. But, yeah. Just a different point of view on things, man. Your favorite damn car, though, to be honest. It was a standard, and you started learning how to shift in it as kids. I don't know, other than, I think my stepdad had a truck that was standard, a little blue truck, um, I think, but I don't really remember. The rest of them, as far as I can remember, were all, uh, were all automatic, no manuals. You would get a tiny hole and that shirt would no longer be wearable? Yeah, no, not the case here, man. <laughs> not the case at all. Now... Obviously, like, if there was a, a big hole in something or whatever, then that was a that was a shirt that you would wear around the house or wear outside to play in or, or whatever the case may be. Um, that's if we were wearing clothes at all. <laughs> I used to walk around town wearing no shirt, no shoes, just, just wearing pants. <laughs> like, whatever. You still have that wear till destroyed mentality? Same. Honestly, that's... Uh, Noodle's mom buys me clothes, like, every year for Christmas... And it's like, I don't, I, I don't have enough room for these clothes, you know, like I, <laughs> there's, there's so many jeans in my drawer, so many t-shirts, who needs this many t-shirts? You know what you need? How many t-shirts you need? You need like five, five is like the perfect number. You can, you can make do with like three, but five is like the perfect number. Anything more than that. And it's just overkill. <laughs> you don't need that many t-shirts, man. And I have so freaking many of them now. It's insane to me. Your mother is about appearances. That's true. Your mother is very much about appearances. But, like, bruh, appearances don't mean shit to me. Like, 
you can have a person covered head to toe in oil and grease and dirt be the 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 awesomest dude in the world you know one of the greatest people and you can have people that are all prim and proper dress dressed in the finest clothes that are just absolute cunts so like i don't it means nothing to me man nothing at all he yells at me about her buying me shoes all the time you have so many shoes man so many I've never in my life owned more shoes than I do right now. And I think I own like, what, three three or four pairs of shoes and they're pretty much all uh, uh, super cheap <laughs> shoes besides my boots. I and mean, even my boots are like the $60 special, you know? They're not <laughs> they're not expensive ones. Your aunt is the prim and proper type? Yeah, kinda. <laughs> kinda. See, I have too many because I hold them. Hold to them and then I'll see like long sleeves on clearance. I'm like... I need a couple of those for winter. Get them while I can. I mean, that's a good mentality to have, man. Be humble. Live cheap. Hey, Mr. Noodle with the five bits. Thank you, love. Uh, you buying me some clothes there with all these bits is what you're doing. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm probably going to use these bits to buy uh, one or two of the games. The the bits and donation money and whatnot in general. Uh, or or, or uh, subscription money, I guess, since I don't have, have donations open. For uh, some of the video games that are a little bit more expensive. Is probably what I'm going to end up using them for. Maybe get a green, ski green screen and a camera is something that I do really want to do at some point too. So some of the money might go towards that. But we'll see. We'll see. You have two. You won't lie. You think you're going to get some lower cost Timberlands. Had a pair given to me before and I love them. So I want another pair. Never owned a pair of Tims. And unless somebody else buys them for me, probably never will, to be honest. They seem like perfectly fine boots. I got nothing against them. But man, my $60 pair of boots does me just fine. Other than the fact that they start to smell <laughs> after, after you know, like a year or something like that. <laughs> Other than that, I have no problems with them at all. Can wear them for like a year or two years. Uh, just need to just need to remember to spray them out a little bit. Hey, Noodle, if you don't mind, <laughs> if you want to spray my boots again for me real quick, actually, that'd be wonderful. You want a pair of Tim's like a maroon color? Yeah, you've mentioned. And I mean, if you want some, I don't have a problem getting them for you. Because that's another thing I think that's nice about growing up poor is I don't hold much thought to... Uh, material things you know i lost everything in a house fire and i i don't sweat it it's whatever like it, it, some of the stuff sucks just because you know there's like video games that i liked that i would love to play now and whatnot and i don't have them but at the end of the day it's it's whatever it's material shit who cares man it comes it goes so is what it is bro but anyways, guys, it is after 1.30. Uh, as far as Xenosaga goes, I'm going to put it on the list of games that I want to play more of at some point. Because it, it does seem like the type of game I could get into. I just need to, I think, read the manual. So I have a little bit more of an idea of, of what's going on and how to properly play the game and everything like that. Um, but it's not going to be towards the top of my list of things to do. Um, it just hasn't grabbed me yet and the way they've been telling the story in the first hour is a little iffy with that being said though a lot of rpg games especially turn-based rpg games i feel like are slow burners as far as getting into the story and getting everything really going so i'm not going to hold it against the game henceforth why i'm putting it on the, the list of games i want to play more of but it's not going towards the top it's gonna it's gonna sit a little bit farther back i think i wouldn't have if i hadn't had them given to me i wouldn't have had them and that's why I kind of want a pair, because I know that they will last me a long while, because the other pair held up for a few years. They already had about two on them when I got them. Holy shit, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, if a pair of boots is going to... Because Tim's are... They're they're more expensive than, like, the boots I buy, but how much are a pair of Tim's? Broke. Roughly? The seal? What, like, uh... I, um, I never even... Other than Mr. Noodle, I think, showing them to me once or twice, I've never looked them up. Are they, like, a couple hundred bucks or something like that? The point I'm making, though, if they can last for... You know, you said you had them for a couple years and they already had a couple on them when you got them. Then that, if they can last for four or five years, then that's not bad at all. You found ones you like at about 100, 120. Yeah, I mean, that's, it. again, for 100, 120 bucks, if they can last three to five years, then that's not bad. Of course, I imagine that's with really taking care of them, not, you know, using them as, as work boots, which is generally how I wear my shoes. <laughs> <clears throat> But to anybody who, uh, who who likes buying clothes and shoes and shit like that, though, bro, you do you, you know? Like, if, if that's your thing, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that, dude. Buy your clothes if you like your clothes. I ain't trying to tell anybody how to spend their money. Uh, it's just uh, shit like that's not for me, man. 
That's all. Your last shoes had hot glue on them? Yeah, we never did that. We definitely had shoes with holes in them and with the bottoms falling off and all that, but we never we never glued them back together. But all right, guys. Nate, it was good talking to you, man. Noodle, good talking to you, of course, uh, as if I don't talk to you all day every day anyways. <laughs> thank you for the bits, though, love. I do appreciate that. And just generally, thank you all for being here. Canes, if you're still around or if you see this at some point, thank you for stopping in when you did, man. I appreciate you all, really, I do. Uh, much more than you probably realize. And I hope to see you again. Today's Tuesday. So Wednesday, we're off. Thursday. I hope to see you guys again on Thursday playing another PS2 game. Don't know what game yet. And as always, any games that you guys have suggestions for, not only to play on the PS2 Gauntlet, but for me to complete, please do leave them, whether it's in chat, comments on YouTube videos, hit me up on Twitter, whatever. Nate, I already know you're going to tell me DMC, and trust me. It's in the running. <laughs> I'm considering it. But uh, yeah, I'm always looking for suggestions on what you guys want to see. And we are switching to a new PS2 game here on Saturday. So I do uh, do want to hear what everybody wants to see from, from the list of games that we've tried out. And that I'm interested in playing more of. So let me know. And have a good night, everybody. Whatever one I like. <laughs> like I said, DMC is definitely in the running for it. It really, really is. Because uh, I, I do enjoy it. I just, uh, I worry about sucking at it. <laughs> but all right. Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye. I don't know if these are what you would call ventriloquist type. But uh, yeah, they're, they're a little creepy looking though, in my opinion. Hey, I got a rusty key. Very cool. Damn it, wrong there. <laughs> it's all right, Rue. I'll forgive you this time. I mean, I screw up the English language constantly when I'm speaking it, so I think you're allowed to uh, screw up spelling every once in a while. You were a teenager 12 years ago. That means you were 31. Uh, no, so I'm 29. Yeah, 29. But I got out of school early. I got out of high school when I was 16. Went to college when I was 17. Um... Almost 18. It was like uh, four or five months before I turned 60, or sorry, before I turned 18 that I went to college. So, yeah. And it was roughly uh, around 17 because I was out of high school, I'm fairly certain. But I definitely wasn't in college yet whenever I played this game through the first time. So, I'm estimating I was about 17, 12 years ago, give or take. At least you can remember, and he got one hell of a college experience. <laughs> so there you go. The dolls came to life, love. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're busy. Sorry, you can't see. Oh, that's right. You said you were crafting. I forgot you said you were uh, doing some crafts down there, love. Yeah, so we get uh, bonuses for pulling off cool combos and stuff like that of uh, certain lengths and if i remember i think we might get graded at the end of a level putting a question mark on that i can't remember for sure but i think that's right um also this is new wait this all changed this is the same way we came from right <laughs> i know my memory's bad but i don't remember all this being over here a moment ago there are three openings to insert something. Okay. So we need to get three things of some sort. Can we go up the ladder? There's a ladder, but the lid is closed, and you can't go through. Fair enough. Some gross-looking water. And some less gross-looking water. Blue orb fragment, also known as the fragment of life. But it's only one-fourth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotcha. This is the chain to wind up the iron lattice gates on the lower floor. It's too heavy to lift, even with my strength. Okay. So, man, we must have made a different turn at some point. Because this is not where I thought we were going to end up at. Game seems like a pound in the ass. It's not, uh, it's not that bad from what I remember. But, again, long time. Could very well be forgetting. Founder badge, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I just got my, uh, my status, what, a few years ago? Or a few years ago, Jesus, I wish. No, my, uh... <laughs>